Okay, here's a quick video about how to get your BeagleBoard XM up and running. I uh, am just putting this up real quick so that I can help some other people who... I've had kind of a little bit of trouble getting this thing working, so I figured I'd throw this video up. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit uh, crude, but uh, here's, here it goes. Alright, you have your USB, ca your USB mini cable. You're going to plug it in. You're going to use the one with the uh, two connectors into your computer. Then you're going to plug it in. This will power up your board. And if you're, unless you're using the five volt connector, which I am not, you're gonna ha might have some. If you have, if you're using USB, you may have some problems booting up. So then you want to connect your USB to serial converter, or if you have a serial cable, just connect the serial cable. Uh, make sure you install the drivers for your USB to serial converter. That took me a little while to figure out. And then. Uh, Finally, uh, connect your uh, Ethernet cable up to your uh, Beagle board, and then we can start uh, booting up. All right, now it's gonna it's gonna start uh, booting up. We may be lucky this time, but you may get a a message done booting the kernel, and it won't go past that. That's because you're powering over the USB and some for some reason that causes your uh, board not to function correctly but you re reset it a couple times and it'll go through and uh, it may take a few tries before you actually get it to uh, to run past that uh, un uncompressing and then done booting the kernel. I usually have success with triple clicking the uh, reset button it's, once you get uh, once you get past the uh, booting it'll boot up the little angstrom uh, sign and then you can sign in as root with no password and uh, oh there it goes see and it'll boot everything up you'll see the uh, angstrom Sign in a second. All right, there's the little Angstrom sign. Then you want to sign in as a root. You don't need a password. Okay, now it's done. What you're going to do is if you got your Ethernet connected, you just OPKG, then update. And it'll go through and it'll update all the uh, files up on your Beagle board so it knows where to get packages and such. Then you're going to go and say OPKG upgrade. And then it'll go through upgrading all this. This, is, uh, this should probably take quite a while. But once you get that done, then you can just OPKG GCC uh, OPKG install GCC or Emacs or whatever you want to whatever packages you want to install, and that should get you up and running. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. For now, that's uh, all I have. Thanks for watching. Bye.